Welcome to the Daily Audio Bible on the Street Lights America podcast. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the Daily Audio Bible. In our last episode, we covered chapter 32, where we read about Jacob preparing to meet Esau, his brother, and the amount of fear that was upon him because of it. However, that night, Jacob wrestles with none other than God himself. And the Lord blesses him, and his name was changed from Jacob to Israel. Today we are covering chapter 33, where we witness Jacob and Esau meeting for the first time in over 20 years. And we find that Esau is not mad or upset anymore with Jacob. In fact, he is glad to see him again. So much so that he was really anxious to have Jacob follow him home, which Jacob, of course, is unable to do because of the number of herds and the families that are with him. So without further ado, let's begin. Now Jacob lifted his eyes and looked, and there Esau was coming, and with him were four hundred men. So he divided the children among Leah, Rachel, and the two maidservants. And he put the maidservants and their children in front, Leah and her children behind, and Rachel and Joseph last. Then he crossed over before them and bowed himself to the ground seven times until he came near to his brother. But Esau ran to meet him and embraced him and fell on his neck and kissed him, and they wept. And he lifted his eyes and saw the women and children and said, Who are these with you? So he said, The children whom God has graciously given your servant. Then the maidservants came near, they and their children, and bowed down. And Leah also came near with her children, and they bowed down. And afterward Joseph and Rachel came near, and they bowed down. Then Esau said, What do you mean by all this company which I met? And he said, These are to find favor in the sight of my Lord. But Esau said, I have enough, my brother. Keep what you have for yourself. But Jacob said, No, please. If I have now found favor in your sight, then receive my present from my hand. Inasmuch as I have seen your face, as though I had seen the face of God, and you were pleased with me, please take my blessing that is brought to you, because God has dealt graciously with me. And because I have enough. So he urged him, and he took it. Then Esau said, Let us take our journey. Let us go, and I will go before you. But Jacob said to him, My Lord knows that the children are weak, and the flocks and the herds which are nursing are with me. And if the men should drive them hard one day, all the flock will die. Please, let my Lord go on ahead before his servant. I will lead on slowly at a pace which the livestock that go before me and the children are able to endure, until I come to my lord in Seir. And Esau said, Now let us leave with you some of the people who are with me. But he said, What need is there? Let me find favor in your sight, my lord. So Esau returned that day on his way to Seir, and Jacob journeyed to Shachath, built himself a house, and made booths for his livestock. Therefore, the name of the place is called Sukoth. Then Jacob came safely to the city of Shechem, which is in the land of Canaan, when he came from Padan Aram, and he pitched his tent before the city. And he bought the parcel of land where he had pitched his tent, from the children of Hamor, Shechem's father, for one hundred pieces of money. And he erected an altar there, and called it el Elo Israel. And that will conclude today's reading. Something to be taken from here. God told Jacob that he was going to go before him, and as always, we find God's promise to be true. Even in the midst of Jacob's fear that his brother was going to annihilate him and his family, God had already prepared the heart of Esau, and Jacob returned safely to his home. Never underestimate God's faithfulness to fulfill his promises to you. No matter what the circumstance, no matter what you're dealing with, God will go before you if you will let him, and you will find all of his promises to be true. 
And that will conclude today's episode. I want to thank you all so much for listening and for spending some time with us today. But as always, spend some quality time with the Lord on your own. Make your relationship personal with Him. And as always, thank you so much for listening, and may God bless you.